Hi everyone, I'm back. Of course, I'm still talking about hiring a virtual assistant and how it can be so beneficial to your company. It is one of the best salon business marketing tools that, um, that you can find, that you can have or that you can use to grow your business and free yourself up. The last video I talked about the top five things you need to look for in a virtual assistant. In this video, I want to talk about the 10 pros of actually hiring a virtual assistant. So if you see me look down, it's just because I'm reading my notes, but I want to make sure I get this information to you because um, a lot of companies for years, like myself, have been using a virtual assistant to help them create more time, get things done, and um, of course, make more money. In our industry, I find that a lot of us have not used a virtual assistant before, and so I want to help you and tell you some of the things that they can do that will help you in, um, in, our, in our business, uh, of course, in our beauty business as it relates to what we do. So number one is they can speak, read, and write in English. That's important. <laughs> That's a pro of a virtual assistant. Uh, there's so many you can choose from that can read, write, and speak English, so you do not have to have a communication problem. That can be obsolete. Number two is you train them on how you want things done. You, just like you would with an employee, you would do the same thing with the virtual assistant. They don't just go and start doing things, they do it the way that you want them to do it. And that's great because we all have our own criteria. we all have certain, um, certain things or certain ways we like people to answer the phone, things like that. You tell them what you want them to say and how you want them to do it and they will do it. The third thing is flexible schedules. You don't really have to worry about um, them not being available. If you need a virtual assistant Monday through Friday, Tuesday through Saturday, Wednesday through Sunday, or just Tuesday and Thursday from midnight until 4 in the morning, whatever it may be, typically their schedules are pretty flexible and it's accommodating. So you don't have to feel like they have to work that, that they have to work 9 to 5 or 10 to 7. You don't need to feel that way because your virtual assistant pretty much is going to be accessible to you based upon what the job is requiring. You can hire as needed. Uh, you don't have to commit to 40 hours a week. You don't have to commit to eight hours a day. Maybe you only need a virtual assistant for uh, four hours, three days a week. You can have that with a virtual assistant, whereas a lot of times with employees, it's a little bit more difficult because they're typically looking for either part-time work or full-time work. And part-time is usually 20 plus hours and full-time is 40 plus hours. Well, if you only need a virtual assistant for 10 hours a week or five hours a week, you would have the ability to hire someone and get someone to do those things that you need. Or maybe it's just for a one-time project. You could hire a virtual assistant to do those things. The next is um, they're focused on getting your tasks done. Their interest lies with you because the way they keep their job is if you're happy, right? So they have a a primary interest, they, they want to make sure things are done right and they want to get them completed on time so that you can continue, so that you can, can continue to use their services as well as hopefully end up needing them for more things. So um, I think that's really great because there's a focus on getting the work done and not just waiting around for something to happen. Payroll is obsolete. Um, you don't have to worry about sending them a W-2 or anything like that. Basically, when you hire a virtual assistant company, that's an independent contractor, you know, for the most part. You don't have to deal with the headaches of payroll, any of that, and that's great because that's one less thing that you have to do and you have to be concerned about. The virtual assistant company is um, already has the equipment provided. So, it's not like you have to go out and purchase a telephone line, a new phone, a new laptop, uh, internet access, fax machines. You don't have to do any of that. Once you've decided to use a virtual assistant and you go through a company, they're going to provide the phone lines, they'll provide the laptop, they'll provide um, internet service. They provide all of, those, all of those things as basic 
basic things to, to be able to uh, provide their services. So that's a cost that you don't have to endure, and that's great because if you hire an employee to do certain things, you may have to buy uh, specific equipment for them to do those things in your salon or at your home office. So a virtual assistant company is great for supplying your virtual assistant with everything they need in order to get the job done. And number 10 is going to be, typically there's no contracts. You're not locked into a one year or five year or six month agreement. It's on an ongoing basis. It's as needed. So at any time you decide that, hey, this is not working for me anymore or um, I'm ready to move on. I don't need the services this month. I'll pick it back up next month. You can do it without penalty and that's great. You don't have to worry about any of that. So these are my top 10 things, um, top pros as to why you want to look at hiring a virtual assistant for your business, for your salon business. It is one of the best things you can do. It will give you peace of mind. It will free you up. It will make life easier. Uh, if you want some additional resources about what type of virtual assistants to hire or some companies to go through, you can check out salonbusinessmarketingtools.com forward slash salon resources. Click on the salon resources tab and you should, um, you'll see some information about VAs. Again, I'm Natalie with salonbusinessmarketingtools.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll answer them as quick as I can and I'll talk to you later. See you on the next video. Bye.